Okay, you guys. <clears throat> the truth is, I feel like crap. Oh, Max has been sick since we got home from Nebraska, and now I have it too. But I had plans to shoot a video, so we're gonna power through. I'm gonna do all the things that I planned on doing while being sick. In fact, I'm gonna do them with even more conviction because I need to heal, I need to be healthy. So come along with me today. I'm gonna do all the things that I love to do that keep me my strongest, healthiest version of myself. First things first, oil pulling and teeth brushing. So oil pulling is something I do every day. You put a teaspoon of coconut oil in your mouth and you swish it around. It pulls mucus, which is good for me on a day like today. It kills bad breath. It just has improved my oral health so much. Then I brush. We do our homemade toothpaste that I'm sure you guys have seen on this channel before. We absolutely love two ingredients, baking soda and coconut oil. Then we drip a little essential oil on there. Then I make the bed. Aaron sent me a post a couple days ago that said, people who make their bed every day are however many times likely to be millionaires. Well, that's not why I do it, but there is proof that making your bed is a big deal. I always go out and get myself some water. If I'm feeling lousy like today, I'll do like a all morning fast. My first meal won't be till noon and it just helps to flush my system, rehydrate after, you know, eight, nine, 10 hours of not drinking any water while we sleep. This is our electrolyzed hydrogen water. We have a conga machine that we've had for years. Outside we have a water conditioning system. Then we have two RO systems underneath each sink. Aaron and I focused on food for a lot of years, but the water component is so crucial. So more emphasis on water lately. And while I continue to get ready, I'm taking my daily essential from Compliment. We've been partnered with Compliment for so many years and we seriously love these guys. When it comes to getting what you need, taking care of your body, mind, spirit, I don't care if you're on a plant-based diet or not, you've got to be supplementing. Our soil is depleted, our water is terrible, the food isn't as nutrient dense as it used to be. I mean, it sucks, right? It, it actually really sucks because you can eat the cleanest, most pristine diet in abundance like we do. We eat a very robust and well-rounded plant-based diet and we still make sure to cover our bases. What I love about Complement is that it delivers the eight critical nutrients that are clinically proven to support our heart, brain, and immunity for long-term health and well-being. It's everything you need and nothing more, nothing you don't need. Not to supplement, but rather to complement your well-rounded plant-based diet. This has B12, D3, EPA, DHA, iodine, K2, zinc, magnesium, and selenium. I love that Complement is a carbon neutral company. They use compostable packaging, cruelty free, third party tested, and they're made in the USA. We love them as people, as individuals. We know the whole team over there. We trust them. Most importantly, we love their products. I'm not just gonna say consider this. I'm gonna say go out and get yourself compliment today, especially if you're eating like we are. You can save with our unique code. I'll have everything linked below. Moving on into our guest bedroom here because I've got more interesting biohacking tools. Look, I've got a little salt lamp over there. And then I've got this bad boy right here. This is our red light machine. There's infrared light and near infrared light. The research behind red light therapy is just like outstanding. He used to do it before bed, but some recent information I just read maybe encourages more morning use than nighttime or evening. So I like to start the day with this. Obviously I just want healthy skin. If I have back pain from some lifting or some yard work or something, I'll even turn around and let it hit my back. Because again, great for reducing inflammation and all the things. Again, NASA has researched this and confirmed that the benefits are real and seriously worth it. This is something else that I seriously love, you guys. This is our prana mat. So this is just a small one that you stand on. I like to stand on this while I do my red light. So the idea behind this acupressure 
is similar to acupuncture, but it's not actually puncturing the skin. Similar to like a derma roller, this stimulates collagen production. If you're adding stress or even like small amount of damage, your body responds by flooding that area with more blood flow in general, and it's gonna help you heal. There's like so many nerve endings and meridian lines that crisscross all over your body, but especially in the feet. While it's good for increasing your pain tolerance, similar to, you know, cold plunges, which I will be doing later also, I just like this one on the feet because I can kill two birds with one stone. I can do my red light therapy. I can hit all these meridian points on my feet, which I feel like helps to detox. You do a lot of detoxing through your feet. There's research that shows that laying on one of these mats for just a few minutes before going into something painful drastically improves your pain tolerance again. So doing anything that's difficult for you makes us stronger. While I did my red light therapy, I also did some deep breathing exercises on my mindfulness app on here so you probably saw my belly getting big you know doing some deep belly breathing pushes the diaphragm up which pushes on the heart which slows the heart down I mean you can systematically physiologically change your state so it's understandably difficult to build a collection of biohacking devices like this but start slow. You know, Aaron and I have been at this for almost 10 years. Save a little money up and put it away for something cool. And these are the things that Aaron and I value. How to untap, you know, your full potential as a human being. It is time to get some real sunlight. So I think I'm gonna sit here in the window, wait for the sun to peek through and do some reading. I've got three books here, Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis, Messy Spirituality, and the one year Bible all right here that I've been kind of cycling through. It seems like all of this stuff that we're doing is just about like the physical body, like, oh, I just wanna be healthy and strong and fit and all these things. It seems like it's very like me focused and self focused and living to, to be a thousand or not dying. Aaron and I often get asked to go on podcasts. We actually have two podcasts that we're going on tomorrow. In we often find ourselves talking about how this way of eating and living is, yes, about healing the physical body, you know, being our healthiest and strongest and happiest. But what it really opens a door to is a deeper spirituality, right? You know, the, the connection with the divine and connection with God, you know, embracing the fact that we are spiritual beings living in a physical body is what this is really about. And it's hard to get to that point when you're sick or unhealthy, whatever the case may be. And so for us, things that I'm doing with my physical body, whether it's how I eat or how I move or how I rest, are really just keys to the doorway of spirituality for me. So yes, I invest heavily in my faith. I invest heavily in spirituality. You know, my deep breathing exercises is all to elevate my mind, right? And to connect spiritually again with the higher power that that you know is in charge of all of this i'm looking outside right now at my mango trees and the beautiful forest out here that we're fortunate to to live in you you look at the plants and the animals and you see this perfect design and for me it's it's hard to deny uh the existence of a of a creative creator uh, one who loves us and then you read the bible right and you read about this man jesus who was a real man who came and lived and walked and broke down the barriers of, of religion and really set people free and taught love. And I think that that is like the coolest thing. It's the most important thing. You know, what Aaron and I seek to do with this channel is to love people. We want to help people become the healthiest, strongest versions of themselves. So, you know, with me showing you how we live and all these devices that we use, it's, it's by no means, you know, trying to be like, hey, look at me. It's about being like, hey, you should try this too. Understanding that in order to be the best version of yourself, you have to kind of be selfish a little bit. You have to go inside, you have to work on yourself, work on your body and you know, do all these things. And so that's, I guess, what this is about. It's more than just skin deep. It's not about appearances or even how we feel. It's about connecting with the divine, really. So I think a lot of people think that, you know, Christians are like goody goodies or perfect. And same thing with like, vegans right they're like oh that's just you trying to be perfect or trying to eat perfect but 
Honestly, it's for me, it's the opposite. You know, my faith and or the way I eat is actually acknowledging my brokenness, acknowledging my my sickness. Uh, you know, Jesus said right here in scripture, I'm actually just now reading in, in Matthew, like right away in the New Testament, I have not come for the healthy, right? It's not the healthy who need a doctor, it is the sick. So he has come to heal the sick and the same thing, you know, for me, like my Christianity is acknowledging my brokenness. It's not trying to emphasize my perfection. Same thing with my diet is I recognize that there are things within me that need healing. And so all these practices, all these things I'm doing now are not to, you know, strive for some sort of perfection, but rather to simply heal or fix my brokenness. Without further ado, finally, it is breakfast time. So Aaron, this bodacious babe made a green smoothie as usual yesterday, still feeling a little under the weather. I made a green juice. So always start the day with something green. More times than not, it's a green smoothie. We like smoothies because you can get a lot more in, including fiber, so, so important. So big green smoothie, I'm gonna put some walnuts and some black mulberries for iron on top. And then I'm gonna take the kids for a nice sunny walk before I do a workout and in with my cold plunge. And my pre-workout, honestly, it's not a pre-workout. I've never been a pre-workout guy. It's like a fulvic acid trace mineral complex. Basically all the trace minerals that we aren't getting from our water because it's highly filtered because it needs to be. So we're putting some good things back into our water. And I've been using creatine for probably about a year now. And it seriously, seriously makes a big difference in the gym. Okay. So I stepped out into our little garage gym. So this was one of the first things Aaron and I started doing when we bought our first house about 10 years ago was we transformed our garage into a gym. Last January, I was cycling like almost every day. I'm a big biker, cyclist. This year, I legitimately have not ridden my road bike once since the new year. What I have been doing is lifting. So it's an easy like eight minute run to the gym. I lift for about 50 minutes, 45 or 50 minutes, and then I run home. So it's usually just over an hour and it's been my favorite. I've gained a significant amount of strength. At 37 years old, I'm stronger, fitter, faster, leaner even than when I was 27. So I, I feel amazing and it's a testament, I think, to number one, the way I'm eating and number two, the way I'm training my body. So, so I do go through seasons where I'm doing a lot more cardio, some, sometimes I'm lifting and what I have done for the last few years when I'm in kind of a lifting phase is full body workouts. I can go Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I can go Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Like it doesn't really matter. I just really aim to get four days of lifting in every week. And every time I lift, I, like I said, I spend about an hour doing so and I lift my whole body. So I typically start with legs, move on to chest, do some type of back workout. Then I'm doing shoulders, arms, abs, etc. And again, I feel amazing. I feel like, again, the full body workouts, I'm actually hitting the muscles more often than just once or even twice a week. But yeah, almost every day or every other day is a good frequency, especially if you are a fast recoverer, which I most definitely am. I give my diet most credit for that because I'm very rarely sore and I'm doing new workouts. I'm pushing more weight. I'm doing all these things and I'll feel a little bit of soreness, but it's never like debilitating. I can always still work out and that's a good thing. Like you want to recover fast and technically you can train when you're still sore as long as you still keep good form and all these things. So again, for me, I recover fast because of my diet. So I work out more consistently and the more consistently I train each muscle, the stronger I get, the better I look, all the things. So this has been my method. So I'm gonna do a full body right now. And because I am feeling a little bit under the weather, even though I pretty much feel like 100% right now, I know that I am still possibly gonna get somebody sick if I go to the gym. So I'm gonna stay home today, do my workout here, and then cold plunge time. Workout complete. I am now stepping out here to get in the cold plunge. So this is the new Nordic Wave cold plunge. We absolutely love this thing. 
Number one, it's vertical, so it takes up less space. It's easy to get in. Aaron and I actually made a very good video this time last year. I'm gonna put the link in the description. Just go watch that one if you guys wanna learn more about cold therapy. It's cold outside, actually, so it's gonna be extra hard today. If you haven't already, definitely go check out our membership. We are loving the community aspect of that, seeing everybody communicate, share selfies. We've done fitness challenge, eat the rainbow challenges. Also, go check out our free seven-day health transformation guide. We'll put the link for both in the description. Much love, you guys. Leave me some comments. Let us know what you wanna see next week. never gets easy guys it's about doing hard things over and over and over again putting yourself into difficult situations if I can be calm in uncomfortable situations uh, I take the power back I take the power back from fear from pain, from anxiety. All right, you guys, my little buddy here, Max, my cameraman, helping me out. Come say hi, Max. Whew. Is it cold? Yep. You wanna get in? Yep. <laughs> As I talked earlier about faith, spirituality, all of these things, this is another way to get into a meditative state. You get into a place where the worries of the day just fade away, like seriously, I love, I love this feeling. Max and I probably have some bike rides to do. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have an awesome rest of our day. Feeling very fortunate to get to live this life, you guys, but you can too. That's why Aaron and I created this channel, to empower you guys, our friends, and our followers. Ah, woo -wee. come on. Ah, feeling strong in my body like I can do whatever I put my mind to. I try to do hard things every single day. Much love to you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. Say do hard things. Do hard things. <laughs>